I think he does understand. He told you. Solomon Grundy be dropping bars in Gotham City in the comics. <laughs> Who you know who does it better than this? I'm the boy, you done did it. I'm on top of the list. Trying to get a good signal like a satellite dish. Every day to me, it's like a solar eclipse. Uh -oh. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, the end of the Kulu Sarakian Geek. Welcome to my channel. About to dive right into episode 8 of Stargirl. I'm really enjoying this season. It's actually phenomenal. Even though it does have moments where it, for some reason, decides to slow down. Then pick back up, slow down. I guess they trying to stretch it out as much as they can with these 13 episodes, but I'm still enjoying it. The pacing's not that bad. Um, especially now that it's exclusively CW, it's surprising how good it still is. So I'm mad excited. Yolanda, Yolanda, or, or however you pronounce her name, she quit the team uh, the previous episode. I feel like somebody else is going to quit the team because of Eclipso this episode until the final showdown when they all get up their bootstraps and get to the business. You know what I'm saying? Let's not waste any more time. This is the eighth episode. Summer School, Chapter 8. Is that a social worker for Rick? Or is it that teacher that failed him? At least she's owning up to her mistakes, though. All the way out here to do Damn, she's getting him ready for his future. That's a full 360. Or 180. This dude is still an asshole. Is he actually picking up the papers? Yeah, dude, move out. Is he still out here feeding Solomon Grundy? Damn. Each one of them is going through it personally. Damn, the VFX on him looks better. Yolanda gotta help herself. It's a sports bag? What happened to Artemis, by the way? She's been on the run. Damn, she dropped the outfit off. And dipped. Would have been funny if they showed her drop it off and run. <laughs> But the scene wouldn't be as dramatic as it is now. The original Doctor Midnight still in the Shadow Realm. Who is this? Man, I miss you, Gil. Who has seen him? Where are you? There's things in the Shadow Realm. Did he just say Shadow Realm? Oh, he said Shadowland. Why did Eclipse show up on the laptop screen? They just eating together. Chilling like a bunch of pals. The size difference is crazy. <laughs> He's eating apples so quick. Damn, your uncle's an asshole, Rick. I think he does understand. He told you. Solomon Grundy be dropping bars in Gotham City in the comics. <laughs> Rick got a big ass secret weapon now. Or a friend. You got a friend? Is that a cardboard suitcase? <laughs> the staff is still healing. These episodes have been so bleak. Because you're my... The divorce talk. They look like they're still in love, but they just don't but spend time with each other. We made... What? This is totally eclipse of... Never mind. I was like, God damn, my parents are brutal. Oh yes, the 4th of July. You lie. Who lie? Damn. There's gonna be a hunt for Solomon Grandi? Is he gonna bring him here? clipso has been busy, busy. <laughs> I don't know how they don't see that he's the reason shit is hitting the fan right now. She's panicking. He's just fucking with your friends. That's what he do. Let's regroup with Said Grandi needs our help, not take down Grandi. He'll keep a secret like this, didn't you? Keep the whole Yolanda killing Brainwave a secret for months too? Goddamn, teenagers. 
damn, did her parents want to have the talk with her on the 4th of July? <laughs> God damn, this show's brutal. Anybody? Creepy kid back. Are you here to steal something? What? You don't know me. You're kind. You people. God damn, where is this show going? That creepy laugh. You better not chase a kid with a creepy laugh who just called you you people. Beth, that's not how black people react to shit like this. <laughs> Leave. I know you like those goggles, but they just technologically advanced goggles. You can get another pair. <laughs> damn. It's no, this dude knows how to hit the buttons, though. God damn, stop saying you people. Damn. Grandy's probably taking care of the 10 year old. Where the hell is she now? I totally called this episode, by the way, the previous reaction. I said it's gonna be a clip, so. Scaring the hell out of. Ooh, the OG chase, eh? What the hell? So the kid decided to be racist and sexist today? Is the clips of fucking with them also? So they not hearing the shots? They hear him screaming but not the shots? Did Grandi do that? He was running so weird there. Why do I feel like he didn't actually kill the girl? Oh, it's a clip so... It's fucking with everybody. Damn! The fireworks in the background. Beth is going through it right now. Did Beth just reverse Uno his ass? <laughs> this shoe form is cool. It's a cool design. It's not Grandy? Was he fucking up his uncle? Damn, he was totally fucking up his uncle. Is he dead? Damn, he's, he's also gonna give up his powers. The whole team is fucked. Damn. Is Beth stronger than the fear Eclipse is trying to? She chooses her. That's what you need me to do. Proud. Ooh. And I chose Beth. Oh, Beth is out here being strong. So he wasn't even there. So Stargirl and Beth are the only one left. Is Rick arrested? Damn. Did they call the cops on Rick? Knowing it was Eclipse's fault? That's fucked up. Or did he call the cops on himself? I hope that's the case. There goes his college dreams. It's the real Grandy. She's still in the at her home. She believes in herself now. She is worthy. Her real parents. So sorry. She's about to get that black talk. We gotta work. Three times is hard. We gotta not let things get to us. Yes, don't let no demon baby tell you ain't worthy. <laughs> Why was the place freezing over? This was a great episode. In exploring um, Eclipso's mindset, his weaknesses, his power sets. For Eclipso, this was a shining episode. Oh, the heroes are losing badly. I wonder how they're gonna get back up. Because Rick broke his whole stick. Like, his whole ability is gone now. Who called the cops? If they're trying to get him out of the police station, who called the cops? The cops weren't nowhere near. There's no way they would have found out that ish. Unless they were like, Yo, they were so trusted. Let's call the ambulance to save this guy's life. But the ambulance had too many questions. Now Rick is in trouble. Maybe that's the situation. Beth was dealing with a racist, sexist child. She stepped up to the plate. The first one to actually expose the clips of. In these many episodes. Mm. We've still got like five episodes to go, so... Or is it just 10 this season? I don't even know. But it was a phenomenal episode. I really liked it. Grandy said his first word, friend. Hmm. 
Very interesting. Really enjoyed this episode. Um, now I gotta go watch What If. Deuces, y'all.